What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back here with another software just for you. This software here is called Market Makers Trend. All right. It is a more advanced software because it gives you very limited information. All right. But the information it gives you is powerful so that you only have to worry about trading in one direction and not trying to figure out do I buy or do I sell. All right. Let's back it up though. What is a market maker? A market maker is either an algorithm or an individual that creates prices for us to buy and sell at. If they create prices higher, the overall price moves higher. If they create price lower, the overall price moves lower. The goal is to know in what direction they are creating prices in so that you can get in on the right direction of the trend. All right. There is no such thing as an uptrend or downtrend. All right. There's only the market makers trend. They're the only one that matter. All right. They will move the market up. They move the market down. They move the market sideways. All right. So as you can see here, very simple down here at the very bottom, it says market maker buy. And then you have this purple moving average here, which is the 200 moving average. The market makers trend software is going to tell you two things. Number one, what's the trend? And then number two, it'll let you know when the trend becomes strong. All right. So as you can see here, the trend is a buy trend as of March the 7th. All right. The trend becomes strong when it crosses to the upside of the 200 moving average while the trend is still a buy trend. All right. Why is the 200 moving average important? This is a major trend line that banks, hedge funds utilize. All right. Again, they don't move the market, but the banks and hedge funds have so much money that they place money in certain areas and it forces the market makers to go get it because the market makers are out to make money. All right. But yes, their job is to provide services to those who trade, i.e. prices to buy and sell at, also liquidity to the market. But they are also making money for themselves and for their company. So when the banks and hedge funds and the big institutional players place money at certain areas, they move the market to those areas to activate that money so they can actually make a profit for themselves. The banks utilize the 200 moving average as a place to where they want to place their buys and sells at. So when price gets over the 200 moving average, all right, on the upside of it, while we are what? While we're still in a market maker buy, we are now in a strong uptrend, all right? So that is GBPJPY. Here is gold. As you can see here, gold peaked out on March the 8th. It's been dropping ever since, all right? Been dropping ever since. Here's US 30. Yes, it works on indices as well, all right? March 15th, buy trend started. Got above the 200 moving hours the next day. Been running up ever since. You should be buying, not selling. Bitcoin has been an uptrend ever since the 11th of March. Been running up ever since. All right. So it gives you all the information you need to know in what direction to trade. And it's beautiful because for those of you who love to mark up your charts with the institutional levels, you know, your order blocks, your FEGs or imbalance zones. All right. Your bearish and bullish breakers, whatever you call them. All right. For those who understand chop, change of character, for those who understand BOS or break of structure, this is the software for you because you only have to worry about what does the market maker trend tell me. I'm buying. Great. Let me mark my chart up to look for buys. When the trend changes to a sell trend, now you mark up your chart to look for sales. No more guesswork. The guesswork is done for you. Don't believe me. Let's go take a look at it. US 30. Boom. As you can see here. US 30, we were in a downtrend. We've been in a downtrend lately. You see this here? Been in a downtrend. Now we're in a what? Now we're in an uptrend. All right? So now that we know we're in an uptrend, we can see that. It says market maker buy. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go and take a look here. As we move up in this trend, all right, we're waiting for an order block. All right? Well, look at that. This is the last down candle, last red candle. The last bearish candle before the push up that did what? That broke structure. All right. This is structure here. It broke structure. All right. So it broke up structure and then it what? It kept going and it swept liquidity here. All right. And kept going. Well, guess what? When that happens, it's got to come back to retest that order block. All right. You can see here on the 16th, it came back to test it and then took off. Well, let's go back all the way down to the one minute time frame. All right, and let's go take a look at the 16th. 
All right, let's go take a look at the 16th. All right. We're on the one minute time frame. We're going to go down to the lowest time frame to find our what? To find our setup. All right, go down to that time frame. So, do, 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 give me one second here. And this is a great trade you could have held. All right, so we're on 14th here, 15th. Uh oh. All right, let's open that back up here. Stretch the chart back out. There we go. Come back down here. Boom, boom, boom. On the 16th, it came back to retest the order block. There that order block is. All right. So here we go. Wait for it. Wait for the drop. There's the drop. Boom. Right to our order block. All right. We zoom in a little bit. You see here, price came down, rejected once, rejected twice, rejected three times, four times, sold, gone. But the beautiful thing is you had a what? You had this doji here, indecisive candle right here. Then you had a, all right, pin bar and another pin bar. So you had two back-to-back -back pin bars, all right? And this after this last pin bar, you had a bullish engulfing. If you don't know your price action setups, your candlestick formations, you really need to look into them. If you don't, hey, check me out. We'll, we'll help you out. So after this bullish engulfing, you're entering a trade. That's beautiful price action. Stop loss below the low. You see it never came back to it. Now let's go back to the H1. Let's go look at that trade. Look at that trade. Beautiful. Beautiful setup. You're in here. And just to finish the day, it runs up 6,900 pips. 6,900 pips it runs up. All right? Just before the end of the day. Had you been holding this for the last, since last week, you'd be up right now at current price over 11,000 pips on US 30. All right? The power of market makers trend. All right? If you want some more information, hey, subscribe to the channel. Click the link below in the bio to get access to the software. We're going to run it up in 2022 and beyond.